the gauges that come on the FX Impact X, well, quite frankly, they suck. It wouldn't, I didn't think it was that big of an issue starting off. They're not graduated that well. Um, you just kinda kinda guess where you're at from one mark to the next. I didn't think it'd be no big problem until it got to where the other day I noticed it wasn't shooting right. Point of impact was way off. I didn't think a whole lot about it. I looked at the gauge, I had plenty of air. I didn't bother looking at the reg pressure. And as you can see, I'll put it up on the screen so you can get a better look at it. Right now this thing is showing about, I'm guessing, 175 bar. My regulator is supposed to be set at 140 bar. I'll put a shot of that on the screen too. This regulator showing maybe 120 bar. So when I refilled the gun off the SCBA tank to 250 bar, this gauge way off. It was like way past 250. It didn't used to be that way, I'm sure. I think it's gotten worse as I went. But I've tuned this gun just a couple months ago. And I, I had some settings that I just couldn't get quite get nailed down. And now I'm really believing it's because of the inaccuracy in these gauges. So today, we're gonna try some different gauges on the impact. So let's start by taking the tank off the gun. Now the impact has a valve inside the bottle, so you can screw that off. Without it taking off across the room and killing somebody. And as you can see, the gun, with no tank on it, is showing it's showing like 65 psi bottle pressure or 65 bar bottle pressure when there's no bottle on it the rig went to zero remember there's stored air inside here so don't be pulling gauges out until you I don't think my rig is working. Oh well, that'd be another video. Let's start by getting these old gauges out. We're gonna start with the tank side regulator. Wow. Well, or gauge, I mean. That was... Like, really easy. Looks like there's an O-ring down in there. Don't see an O ring in the bottom of that one, but. Well, today's video is brought to you courtesy of My Wallet. No sponsors. But I do have a package here from Brian Meckler at Ed Gun West. And we have a couple of Huma Air gauges that we're going to install. As you can see, they have better graduation than the factory FX gauges, but they are considerably thicker. That's not a problem as long as they're accurate. Now when I open it up, each gauge had one of these little O-rings, and then there was an extra one that's bigger. I'm pretty sure that was a mistake. That O-ring is not just an O-ring, that one's one that's kind of made in the gun, I think. And this one feels different too. Hmm. I'm not even gonna use the O-rings. Maybe it's just that easy, we'll see. That one lined right up. Well, 
we'll find out what it does. Hmm. Interesting. You saw what the vector gauge read. This one is showing like barely over 100 bar. The same as this one. That gives me very high hopes that these gauges are a lot more accurate. Well, let me guess the gun up to 250 bar and see if the gauge matches what's on the SCBA tank and the air compressor. Now we have a perfect match between the SBA, SCBA tank and if these gauges are accurate, I thought I had my rig set at 145. And as we can see by this gauge, it's 130 bar. Well, all that's left to do is to make sure we don't have any leaks around the gauge fittings. And uh, I can't leave without shooting something. It's windy as hell outside today, but uh, we'll shoot something after I leak test this thing. Man, I'm so glad I decided to put these gauges on. Because during my leak test, put soapy water on both these gauges, nothing, perfect. All I did was screw the old ones out, screw the new ones in, simple upgrade. But I did have a leak right here where the fitting goes into the body on the bottle connector. And I got that fixed. And also I found out my regulator said at 128 bar. And I thought it was around 140. So now I get to completely retune this gun. But enough chit chat. Let's shoot something. Okay, I just walked out there and set down an orange crush. Why? Because I don't like orange crush unless I got brass monkey to put in it. Now, once I ranged it, it's 133 yards to the orange crush can. The wind is a sustained 16 mile an hour gusting up to 30. I'm gonna give myself one magazine, try to hit that stupid orange crush can that's 133 yards away. I seriously doubt this is going to happen. I would have a camera down there, I done tried, but the wind keeps blowing the tripod over. So we're just going to use the video from the ATN. And before anybody starts complaining that I'm shooting out of a hole, I have cameras. I can see all around this building, everything in the yard. There's no problem with me shooting from this position. Anyway, one magazine, we'll try to hit it. I doubt we're going to do it. but. Let's go. I think I hit that damn thing. Can't see where my pellets are impacting. Yeah, I have no idea where my pellets are landing. No idea whatsoever.
Got it. <laughs> wow. Hey, that's all I got for you today, guys. Tail out of here.